Here's a problem that hopefully you do not run into, do not uh, have. I've actually only came across this once while looking at a home that, uh, that needed to be remodeled because it was remodeled uh, incorrectly. And this came across this. That would be an excellent idea for a video. Actually, I made a video on this a few years ago and found out that uh, there are other alternatives. I suggested if you had something like this, an open sewer um, vent pipe that you just cap it off. Simply just get a cap and cap it off. And um, the reason why I said that was because I didn't know that they had air admittance valves. And an air admittance valve is something that allows air in. So if you are the plumbing pipe, if, if you use other uh, there are fixtures in your house. For example, if you flush a toilet that's next to the sink, it actually creates a vacuum and will suck the air. Um, it, that's what the vent pipes actually do. They actually allow air to come in so that the water can flow without uh, having any problems. And this also prevents the water that is in the traps the water in the traps creates a seal, basically an air airtight seal that prevents gases from coming into your home. And so when you put the cap on it, if you just put a cap on it here, you could actually flush the toilet and pull all of the water out of the trap um, because of the vacuum created from the water rushing through the pipes. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on that here, but hopefully that makes sense. Now, the air admittance valve, I guess, allows air in. It uh, does not allow air out, which would be a problem if your sewer pipe ever, ever um, got plugged. You've probably seen it before where your sewer pipe gets plugged and the water starts filling up in your sinks, your toilet might overflow, your bathtubs might start filling up with water. Well, if that's the case and this open valve, this open vent pipe is below that, let's just say the water fills up to here in the sink, um, the water is going to be pouring out of here and going to be all over your house, not going to be a good thing. So I guess these eliminate that. Now, the one thing I'd like to point out, uh, another thing is that these valves are not approved by some building codes. So you'd actually need to find out if they were approved in your area. So, and I have noticed them in California, they are not using these. Um, I've never seen one ever installed to give you an idea there. So let's go ahead and go to the next picture. This is what a regular um, pipe would look like that vents into the wall. You have a drain pipe sticking out. You can't see the vent pipe. And of course the trap right here. And this of course is what it would look like. You would have the vent going up and then the drain going down here. So you, this is what the pipe would look like if you removed the drywall. And this is actually what tells me, this, this, this right here is a kitchen island um, vent pipe. And this is standard construction for uh, most homes. And I'm still seeing this used today. And this picture was taken, I want to say, in 2000. 2015, I think, or maybe 2014. But I just drove by a house. It's uh, right now. It's December of 2016. Just drove by some new construction and seen these things um, on the new um, new homes they were building. So it tells me that they're not using these air admittance valves, and it is because they're mechanical objects and, and uh, can fail. Um, uh, at least that's what I've read so far on the internet and heard from most people. So what we have here is a vent, a drain pipe, and then a vent pipe that basically goes down and then uh, into the walls here and then up to the roof. So it basically ties into another vent. And uh, I wish I had a picture of it, but I don't. So that's this gives me a clear idea they're not using these. In the last part of the video, I just wanted to give you an idea of how a standard construction vent pipe actually functions, how it goes through the roof. And uh, let's go into the bathroom. This, is, this would be where the drain pipe comes out of the wall in the bathroom. The vent pipe goes up through the attic, if you have an attic. 
and this is where you would have the other vent uh, pipe tying in for the other bathroom. You have, in this particular design, you have a bathroom on one side and a bathroom on the other side. And finally, out the roof. This actually allows the sewer gases to enter the atmosphere and not your home. So that's uh, how a vent pipe should function. Um, uh, using the air admittance valve, hopefully you have a good idea of how that works now. And uh, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button, and it is off to the next video.